Hey guys, it's a brand new Minimage Studio. Today we have the Universal Monster Series 3 Emotep with Sarcophagus. Cool! So this is from the brand new series of Universal Monsters. This is the third one. And from Toys R Us, you can see it has the mummy and his sarcophagus. Packaging wise, very simple Universal Monsters, Universal, Mini Mates. On the back, you just got the rest of the figures, being the mummy and the hunchback from Notre Dame. So, let's begin. Imhotep and Sarcophagus. Punished for his unnatural practices by being mummified alive, the priest Imhotep was discovered centuries later and revived by a resurrection spell. Now living in modern times as Adriath Bey, he seeks to bring his beloved princess back however he can. So here we have the mu- Wait, where is he? Did he get lost again? Crap. Wait, I think I know where he is. Oh yeah! So yes, here we have the mummy. I was afraid I lost him again. And then there was this big epic story. I'll tell you about it later sometime. But here we have the mummy. Very nice detailing all around. He is just your basic mummy. I don't know the name of the actor who portrayed him, but I'm going to assume this looks like him. And he has a ring for some odd reason. It's blue. It's very nice. Call me crazy, but I think it's a reuse of the one from the original Kingpin. No, it's not. Never mind. So the ring is a brand new piece, and it's very nice. But other than that, he's just a plain vanilla mini-mate. Which is a darn shame. But that does mean he has full range of movement. Even though, really, a mummy, the only iconic thing is this. And, yeah. So overall, the mummy is nice if a bit plain. But, it's a mummy. So we have a mummy, but you may be asking yourself, what can we do to house this horrible abomination of mankind? Who knows what kind of evil may be released? Well, that's why we have the sarcophagus, my friends. This is our first line of defense in defeating the mummy. Erm, um, I think. It's very nice, though. On the back of the box, it was described as its own figure, so I'm not sure if this is an accessory or another figure. I'm just going to go with an accessory, but it is incredibly cool. I mean, look at this thing. It's huge. It's even got nice back detailing. It's got a copyright date. Wow, this is some Minimate art right here. And the face, it's very nice. I'd love, like, a Minimate of this headdress. I even love how the arms are Minimated. That's just beautiful. And it even has the chin protruding. Oh, and it opens! That's kind of cool, too. And there's a little indention. Only problem is, it doesn't really stick. I think what would have been better if it was on a hinge, so it would just go... But that's just me. What I did, though, got some poster putty, just stuck it on. And it should work. So that means we can defeat the mummy. And if you want, have him rising from his burial to attack mankind. Or something. Overall, the mummy and the sarcophagus are very nice pieces and definitely will help with your mini mate collection. Now, I will actually be picking up an extra one in the mummy box set. But who knows, I do wish though that they would have put more effort into accessories like this in the past two waves, cause really, what did wave one get? It had a harpoon gun and a cane. What did wave two get? Well, absolutely nothing in the Dracula box set, but in terms of Frankenstein, the villager got pitchfork and the torch, but that was it. This is explosive. Why can't we get stuff like this? If this does well, we have to get a series four with the Invisible Man. Goodness. Anyway, did you like the video? Well, then rate, comment, subscribe, and like, and I'll see you later.